And let's move now to that all important vote today. The margin was so thin, Vice President Mike Pence was forced to make the tie breaking vote. So now the debate is going to move forward in Senate to repeal Obamacare. Question is, what is in it? No one really knows exactly what's in this version of the repeal. Blaine Alexander breaks it down from Washington. Blaine. Devin, for Republicans, it came down to the wire. Now they can move forward to decide exactly what Obamacare repeal will look like. For Senator John McCain, a hero's welcome. Back on Capitol Hill for the first time since his brain cancer diagnosis. Mr. McCain, aye. His vote today, crucial for his party to move Mr. forward Johnson. with health care, delivered with Mr. a passionate Johnson, message aye. to his colleagues. What have we to lose by trying to work together to find those solutions? We're not getting done much apart. I don't think, that, think any of us feels very proud of our incapacity. Today's procedural vote, a turning point that would allow the Senate to even begin discussing health care. Many of us on this side of the aisle have waited for years for this opportunity and thought it would probably never come. Lawmakers can consider three options, repeal only, repeal and replace, or something else altogether. A rare gallery protest interrupting the Senate floor proceedings just as the vote began. Turn back. We can go through regular order. We want to work with you. We know that ACA is not perfect, but we also know what you've proposed is much worse. President Trump pushing from the sidelines, tweeting, big day for health care. After seven years of talking, we will soon see whether or not Republicans are willing to step up to the plate. And the motion is agreed to. The final vote, 50-50, with Vice President Mike Pence breaking the tie in Republicans' favor, officially opening the health care debate. And President Trump praised Senator McCain for coming back to cast that vote. In the end, only two Republican senators voted no. In Washington, Blaine Alexander, Local 4. All right, Blaine, an interesting side note here. The push to get this passed was so important to the White House. The vice president made an appearance on an Alaska TV station on their local news uh, to try to push the bill. Alaska significant because of Senator Lisa Murkowski, a Republican from Alaska who voted no today.